Hi guys, quick question. What did you want to be when you grew up? You know, before you came a 9 to 5 robot boring adult. I'll tell you mine. I wanted to be a dragon. A powerful, flying, fiery, freaking dragon. I'm still working on it, by the way. The reality of our lives, as exciting as it is, let's just say it needs a bit of flavor. A mystical flavor, if you will. We're no magic, as far as we know. We can walk, we can run, we can swim, good stuff. But most importantly, we can think. Thanks to our precious brains, with a bit of simulation and will, you can be whatever you want to be. So let's let our brains dwell into the fantasy land for a bit. In this episode of 10 Mythical Creatures We All Wish Existed. Number 10, Werewolf. It's night. It's quiet. The full moon shining through your window. There's only one thing to do. You gotta start howling. Well, that didn't go as planned. Along with vampires and ghosts, werewolves have been a part of our horror pop culture for decades. Always evolving as a myth. So much that it's unclear exactly when and where the werewolf legend originated. No matter the story behind it, werewolves portray as a creature remains the same. Humans with the ability to transform into a wolf. They're strong, fast, they have night vision, immortality, and this has just been added to the list. Werewolves are sexy. Nope. What a disgrace. Sorry about that, guys. Now a guide. How to become a werewolf. Get bitten by a werewolf or drink rainwater out of the footprint of a werewolf. Tell us how it goes. Number 9. Genies I could sure use three wishes, then I would just wish for more wishes. Just kidding, I won't be that guy. But you might be surprised to learn that the make three wishes and I shall grant them out of the lamp guy we're used to seeing is not what a genie really is. Many Muslims believe in the literal existence of jinn, as many Christians believe in the literal existence of angels and demons. Genies delight in punishing humans for any harm done to them, and are said to be responsible for many diseases and accidents. You might be thinking, why would we want these around? Well, it's good to know genies don't just grant wishes to anyone, right? I think so. Those and only those who know the proper magical procedure can exploit the jinn to their advantage. Number 8. Unicorns I know, they quite overdone it with this one. We're so used to seeing it at every little girl's birthday ever. Maybe the real story behind it has been forgotten. Behind the glitter and the rainbows of nowadays portrayed of it stands a spiritual beautiful creature, both gentle and ferocious mysterious and medieval. Unicorns originate in the Greek mythology. They are white with dark red hair, dark blue eyes, and a black horn. No hunter can capture a unicorn. They can only be tamed and caught by a pure virgin maiden. People believe that the horn could purify liquids, and the purified liquid could cure anyone who has been poisoned or diseased. Number 7. Vampires Why would we want vampires to exist, you say? They're monsters, you say. Quit being so judgmental, guys. Well, so I can befriend one and make them bite me. They are immortal. They don't need sleep ever. And, well, that pretty much does it for me. I just want to be immortal and never sleep. As for the blood-sucking part, I'll get used to that. We do already eat animals. I'm up for a change. As far as the story of the vampires, they are evil mythological beings who roam the world at night, searching for people whose blood they can feed upon. They typically drain their victims' blood using their sharp fangs, killing them and turning them into vampires. Good luck! Number 6. Pegasus 
Although being goofy and just the perfect best friend who can fly is enough. Disney didn't give enough credit to the Pegasus. Besides his ability to fly, which sets him above all horses already, whenever his hoof struck the earth, he created beautiful springs with water that could inspire artists, poets, historians, and scientists. Pegasus lived peacefully beside the new spring until his power began to attract attention. A hero, Bellerophon, finally tamed him. Bellerophon went into battle with the Chimera, a strange and terrifying creature who was taught to be invincible. And then Pegasus fought by his side and its reign of terror came to a gruesome end. Where do you think he is now? Number five, fairies. These supernatural creatures or spirits are popular across a wide variety of myths, legends, and stories. Leading up to the present day, the first fae people certainly weren't as delicate as the fairies we know and love today. Now, this tale is old as time. Of course, ugly fairies fell out of fashion and were replaced by gorgeous creatures with the flowery clothing. Beyond this, they became in all habits and tempers. Some are helpful around the house, some guide travelers lost in their forest to get back home, and if they're particularly fond of you, they might even lead you to a treasure, give you magical gifts, and help you win your true love's heart. Number four, Phoenix. The true spirit of fire. In the still of the night, just before sunrise, a magnificent creature builds its nest. The sun begins to rise and the bird begins to stretch. Its feathers are a beautiful hue of gold and red, the phoenix. The story of the phoenix is legendary and is likely one of the most well-known ancient myths in modern day. The legend is famous for the many elements it is said to concern life and death, creation and destruction. Even time itself is tied with the tale of the phoenix, as the phoenix was known to live in paradise. It was also known that it can never truly die. He gets reborn after three days of its farewell with this life. A phoenix rises from its ashes and begins the next cycle of 1,000 years. Number three, elves. In the words of great J.R.R. Tolkien, go not to the elves for counsel, for they will say both no and yes. No better description can be made of elves in such a short sentence. We're not entirely sure yet how they feel about us humans. Elves have quite an ambivalent relation with us, but we sure have grown to love them. More often than not, elves cause human illness, but they also have the power to heal them. They're especially willing to do so if you have something to give back. Understandable, as they say if you're good at something, never do it for free. Apart from being smart and mischievous at that, elves are men and women of great beauty. They live in forests, underground, or in wells and in springs. Some are tiny, some are tall, and some say they are empty from the back, like a hollow tree. But I just won't let that image in my head. It is said that human and elves can interbreed and produce half-human, half-elfin children who have the appearance of humans but possess extraordinary, intuitive, and magical powers. Intriguing, I would say. Do you think there's more of them out there? Show yourselves. Number two, dragons. We all love dragons as kids, big giant dinosaurs that fly and breathe fire. Who wouldn't want them to exist? And now with all the Game of Thrones fuss going around, Dragons have made their way into the adult fantasy world, but very few know the lengthy history behind them. Like all creatures of ancient lore, the dragon had more humble beginnings. As the story goes, dragon is actually any form of serpent that has an especially fearsome nature. Although most dragons are described evil in nature, as evidenced by Chinese mythology, Dragons are benevolent and knowledgeable creatures, as this guy has proven to us. Not your typical dragon, huh? It's not the size that makes a dragon, it's the feisty attitude. Believe in yourself. Number one, mermaids. Beautiful, long-haired maidens with hypnotizing voices 
known to lure sailors and bring them to doom. Being pretty will get you out of anything, huh? I should know. <laughs> They're still the first on our list, as the waters of the ocean can be both gentle and destructive. So can the nature of the mermaids. These maidens are known to have caused much mischief and destruction at the expense of humans. However, they've been helpful too. There are stories of mermaids who have saved sailors and their ships during storms, or have helped humans cure illnesses that civilization had no knowledge of. We can sure use some of that. Legends say those who die at sea become mermaids. One can hope. As a famous saying goes, Fantasy is hardly an escape from reality. It's a way of understanding it. Which mythical creature would you choose to be? Is it on our list? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, we've picked two others you might also like. See you next time.